Hi guys, welcome to your first lesson of Unit 2. Unit 2 is all about ratios, and that's what we're going to get started on today. So to begin, it asks us to describe two quantities at the same time. If we have these different shapes, and I know yours are not in color, but you can use this to help you distinguish between the different colors and shapes. It says, if you sorted the set by color, how many groups would you have? So go ahead and pause the video and figure out how many different groups you would have. We would have four groups, and we could label our groups red, blue, yellow, and green. So, so far we've sorted them by color. Now they would like us to sort them by area, and they want to know how many groups you would have. So go through and find the area of each of the shapes. You can pause the video and then come back when you're ready. Okay, you should have found the area of all of your shapes by now. And if we were to divide them into groups according to their area, we would have four different groups. We would have a group that has an area of two, a group that has area of three, a group that has area of four, and a group that has the area of five. For the last question, think of a different way that you could sort all of these figures. What would your categories be and how many groups would you have? I'm going to let you do this on your own, so everybody might have a little bit of a different answer, but that's okay. So, all right, answers will vary. Think about if you were to sort them according to um, the shape. So could you do squares and non-squares, or straight lines and not straight lines. Um, that might give you an, a starting point. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can categorize them. When you're ready, we're going to move on to the next lesson. And what I have here are some different writing utensils. Let me slide this down so we can see them all. And at the bottom here, it says to think of a way that you could sort this collection into two or three categories. So by looking at my different objects here, Think of a way that we could sort them into two or three categories. I'm going to flip my page. So when you're ready, you can flip your page as well. Try and keep these all on the screen so that we can see. All right, so one category that probably came to mind was to divide them up into markers, crayons, and colored pencils. So let's use that as our first example. So category name would be markers, crayons, and colored pencils. Then you need to figure out the category in each mount. That's simple. All you have to do is count the number of markers. So we have one, two, three, four markers. One, two, three, four crayons. And one, two, three colored pencils. Right. Let's hide this up a little bit. So now using our table, we can answer the following questions or fill in the sentences. We're going to use these sentences to describe ratios. Okay, Ratios is a vocabulary word that's very important. It's a way to describe two or more quantities. And there are many ways to write a ratio. So here are a couple sentence stems that we're going to use to help us. So if we say the ratio of markers, we'll put markers in here, to, we'll say crayons, is, so the first blank belongs to markers. So there are four markers, 
Then crayons is the second blank, and there are four crayons. So the ratio of markers to crayons is four to four. Okay, let's do another example. Let's say the ratio of colored pencils to crayons. So colored pencils comes first in our sentence. So it's the going to be the first number in our ratio, which is three. Crayons come second, so it is the second number in our ratio. So the ratio of colored pencils to crayons is three to four. And there's one more way that you can write a ratio. So we can say there are four markers for every three colored pencils. We are going to be writing ratio statements quite a bit, so these three sentence stems are something you can come back to to help yourself. All right, let's move down to activity three. It says that we are now going to sort our categories a different way. If we were doing this in class, I would have had you bring your own objects in, but since I'm gone, we're just gonna use our same objects and we're gonna sort them a different way. So let's rearrange them and figure out is there a different way that we could sort them. So think about that for a second. I bet a lot of you are thinking that we could sort them by color. So let's do that. We have some red objects. So we have four red objects. We have some green. One, two, three green. And we have purple. I know it might be kind of hard to see on the um, video, but these four are purple. Okay, now we need to write some sentences to describe our ratios. So let's say the ratio of red to purple. Red comes first in our sentence, so the number is going to come first in a ratio, so it is four, two, and purple is also four. Let's do the ratio of red to green. Since red is first in our sentence, it's going to come first in our ratio, and green is second, so it will come second. If you notice, the word two or semicolons can be used interchangeably. So here we use the word two, and here we use semicolons. Both are correct, it just depends which way you want to write it. Or there is the last version of the sentence. So there are three green for every four purple. And these blanks you can fill in with any of your categories. It doesn't matter which order they come or how you can compare them. All right, keep those there. We're gonna flip the page. And it asks us to make a visual display of our items. So we're gonna use the table on the previous page, so you might have to flip back and forth here. But we're gonna use our table right there of red, green, and purple to help us draw a picture. So red comes first in our table. So let's say red, and we had four red. Because I'm not an artist, I'm just gonna use boxes to represent one, two, three, four red, okay? Next in our table, we had green. And we had three green, and I'm still gonna use boxes. We can help kind of keep these separate. And we also have purple. And we had four purple. So we're going to just draw four boxes for purple. 
Oops, sorry about that. All right, so we made a visual display here of our different categories. When you're ready, you can flip the page. And the Are You Ready for More section, we are not going to do that today. We might be doing it on Wednesday in class, but you can just cross it off for now. So let's go over our summary for the lesson. Ratio was a really important vocabulary word for us today. And it is an association between two or more quantities. So we use a ratio to compare two or more things. And remember, there are many ways that we can describe a situation with ratios. So let's look at the first example. So here are two correct ways that we could write the ratio here. So the ratio of squares to circles is 6 to 3. We have 6 squares and 3 circles. Or they could do it of the ratio of circles to squares is 3 to 6. So they can rearrange the sentence and the objects in the sentence. Down here we have another example. They can also be arranged into equal groups. So we could also write that there are two squares for every one circle. See how they divided them into three groups? And we could rearrange it into one circle for every two squares. In the bottom of your paper, I would like you to fill in the sentence about something you learned today. So today, I learned... I'd like you to complete the sentence with one thing you learned today in the lesson. When you are done, you can have the sub check over your notes. When he has okayed them, he will give you the homework problems for tonight. If you get done with those, the sub can check your homework problems um, and you can turn them into the blue bin.